Hey guys, so as promised, here's how to sing better instantly. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. Now I know exactly where you guys are coming from. You're starting off, you're searching around, trying to find the right video on YouTube that's going to teach you exactly what you need to know to take your voice to that next level. I know because I was where you are. I was not good at all. I needed to figure out exactly how to improve my voice. Years later, here's where I'm at. So I'm gonna give you guys a condensed version right here of how to take your voice right now to the next level. I want actionable items that you guys can use. The first thing that's definitely going to show you a difference is finding where your voice sits. So for a lot of people, they don't really know how they should be using their voice and what strain-free singing feels like. You know, as a singer that is now able to sing with more freedom, I look back and I realize that when I was singing with a lot more strain, I didn't even realize that that level of strain was actually straining. I felt like that was normal, like that was actually what singing should feel like. So before we do anything else, we first have to get a baseline of what free voice use feels like. So what I want you to do, something that everybody can do, is just sigh with your mouth closed. Hmm. Almost like you're thinking, pondering about something, something we all do. Hmm. How does your voice feel as you make that sound? Hmm. Feels pretty simple, right? Pretty easy. Now, this is not rocket science. It's not a super high note or being held out or a run or it's none of those very complex things, but it's voice use and does it feel natural, clean, good, strain-free, all of those good things, then you're in the right place. If you wanna sing with more confidence and power, then you have to sign up for my lesson subscription. You get two group lessons with me personally every single week. You get access to all my courses and you get access to recording of all my one-on-one -on -one lessons with my students. That will help you learn vicariously through them. Click the link down below to sign up now. So what you wanna do is take that and just hold it. So I just want you to go, hmm, hmm. Now what you're doing is something called a glissando. You may not even realize that you're doing that, but it's a glissando. It's where we take one note and we slide through many other notes downwards. And we're doing that glissando downwards. So what you wanna do is take that hmm, and just find a note where your voice just rests at that spot. Hmm, and just let your voice kind of be light, free, as easy as that sigh. You don't want to start going hmm and trying to force things to happen. Let it be as easy as that gentle sigh that you started with. Now I want you to take that sigh and I want you to find that note that your voice generally tries to land on. You'll notice that there will always be a, a note that your voice favors as you come down, where it feels like it's kind of resonating the most, feels the easiest to create. So find where your note is as you slide down. Hmm. Hmm. Might be one of those notes around there. Try to find where your voice feels most comfortable. Let's do it again. Hmm. So that one feels a little bit on the low side for me. So let's try it again. Hmm. You can slide around a little bit. Just try to find it. Hmm. So that right there feels like it's pretty easy for me. Hmm. It's a little bit lifted, so it's not hmm, down there where I feel like I'm kind of sitting on my throat, like it feels a little bit pushed. That's what we'd want to avoid. So we don't want to feel pushed as we're creating it. We want to create a nice, easy feel as we do it. Now, as you find that note, I want you to just drop your jaw. Let your mouth open. Hmm. Uh... Now, as you drop your jaw, you want to avoid things like hmm. Uh... <laughs> We don't want to do that. We don't want to go, hmm, ah. 
No, don't want to do that. Hmm. Uh, we don't want to do that either. We want to try to keep it as close to the way the hum was. We're just dropping the jaw. The reason why I point all of these things out is because you'd be surprised how many people end up making those other sounds where you're probably laughing to yourself like, how could you possibly be making that sound? I guarantee you thousands of people out there that are trying this video right now are sounding like that. So now that hopefully you've found that nice, easy flow from the hum to the open mouth position, we're just going to try a phrase of a song. Choose any phrase of any song that you want to sing. I'm just going to pick one that's not going to be copyrighted here. So I'm just going to run with the Canadian National Anthem. Let's roll with that. So I want you to just go to that hum. Hmm. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land. And you want to try to feel like the words are an extension of that same relaxed, chilled hum that you created initially. Now, you might be saying to yourself, wait, Adam, that is not the pitch that I need to sing this song at. What are you doing? Well, right now, I'm just trying to get you to, I mean, most of you are beginners out there. I'm trying to get you to feel what it's like to create a release sound. Because for many of you, if you're anything like what I started out to be, you're creating sounds that are totally not released, totally not relaxed. You don't even realize it. You need to be able to find what is a relaxed, released state? And then from there, try to take that into the range that you're trying to sing your songs at. So does this mean that you should always sing your songs low? No, it does not. But what it does mean is that we need to find that relaxed feeling and take it throughout any part of our range. So this idea of singing very chilled, very relaxed, very easy, not with strain, needs to be carried out throughout your voice. Now, the next question you're probably asking yourself, but wait, Adam, does all singing need to be this relaxed and this chilled? Well, no, because if you're belting a high note, you're not going to be as relaxed as mm, uh, it's not going to be like that because there you're going to be using a lot more breath pressure. And you're going to be using a lot more intensity. So if you're creating a sound like ah, there is much more intensity behind that. You need to engage your abdominals. You need to use your vocal cords properly so that they hold back the airflow in the right way. But at the same time, it's not something where you're going to feel a lot of tension happening here. So it's not going to sound feel like ah! which a lot of people feel like as they're singing. There's a whole bunch of exterior tension doesn't feel clean, nice and easy in the throat. So the amount of ease in the throat is going to be the same as this. Hmm, ah. We want to get that exact same sort of feeling in the throat as we're singing, no matter what we're singing. Now I'm going to move on to the next next step. But if you already feel some strain creeping in and it doesn't feel as relaxed as that initial hum, then it's time to stop the video right now and practice with that a lot more until that becomes much easier for you to do. You have to be able to take this progression step by step without ever engaging more strain in your throat. So make sure that you've got that strain free before you start jumping into this next step. The next step is playing around with different pitch variations in the song that you're working on. So the phrase that you're working on, you want to try to bring the pitch up. You want to try to bring the pitch down and see what changes as I adjust that pitch. So if we start off with that same one I started off with before. Hmm, oh Canada, our home and native land. Now I can try pitching that up. Hmm, oh Canada, our home and native land. Now I can try pitching it down. Hmm, oh Canada, our home and native land. And then I could try pitching it up even higher. Hmm, oh Canada. Our home and native land. 
So there you go, guys. As promised, how to take your voice step by step and improve it immediately. Now, there is going to be an immediate difference for many of you, but this is something that you can still practice with and get the hang of over time, and it will get better and better as you're able to carry it to different pitch levels in your voice. If you found this video helpful, then you should definitely check out my lesson subscription. You're going to find many more resources. The link is in the description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button button down below. If you want to see more videos like this, check out that one right there. You're going to like it.